So let's say that you used GameMaker before and now you're looking to create a new game in a different programming language. Java is a great start for you transitioning from GameMaker because it's so easy and there are a lot of similarities. Now there are a million and two ways that you can go about writing any sort of game, uh, especially in Java. What I'm going to be basing my code off of is my Java Let's Build a Game series. It's my most popular series on my YouTube channel that goes through the process of a blank document to creating a full Java game. I noticed throughout the code that this game has a lot of similarities with the Game Maker engine. Just based on the logic and how things are created, it also uses object-oriented programming, which Game Maker of course uses. So if you're watching this video, I assume that you have a lot of knowledge on Game Maker Studio and that you just want to transition over to Java, so let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing in Game Makers are sprites, tile sets, and backgrounds. So we have the same thing in Java, except we don't have a very fancy editor to create the art ourselves. We're gonna have to go into a separate document, uh, maybe paint on that or something like that to create the actual art assets, but it's kind of loaded in the same way Game Makers. Here we're in our Java project and we have two main classes, the buffered image loader, which basically just loads an image, and our sprite sheet, which chops up that image into different sections. As you can see, GameMaker uses a sprite sheet as well, and this is the sprite sheet for one of the projects I'm working on in my game. So it's the same thing, except it's just made easier in GameMaker. All right, so now let's look at how objects are handled. So in GameMaker, all you have to do is right click and create a new object, and now you can make as many instances of that object as you'd like in the game. Now in Java, we do the same exact thing, except we create a handler class which handles all of our objects for us. This is not pre-built in Java, but we build it ourselves in the Java Let's Build a Game series. So here we are in the handler class of Java, and we have a tick method, which is exactly like the step event in GameMaker, and we have the render method, which is exactly like the draw event. Okay, so uh, what this does is it runs through, it creates what's called game objects, which is an abstract class, which means we can have multiple instances of our game object. A game object is essentially just the type of class we're creating. So a game object in Java is the equivalent of an object in GameMaker. An object is not a sprite, and a game object is not a sprite sheet. So in our handler class, all we're doing is we're going through a for loop with our game object, and we're just rendering and updating all of them. Just like in GameMaker, the step event and draw event gets rendered each individually. All right, now how do rooms work? Well, rooms in GameMaker, I think, are a little bit easier to navigate. We have an awesome GUI system here that we can match around, create different backgrounds, and get a real-time view of what we're doing. What we're doing in Java is pretty old news. Here I am in paint.net, and I'm building a room just like this. So what we do in Java is we use the hex color of an image and we load in that image pixel by pixel and depending on the color that it is in the file we create different blocks different enemies uh, maybe coins or something like that which is a really cool way of doing it but it's not quite as fancy as the game maker ways of doing it so converting from game maker to java is really not that hard it's all about just learning the language and the differences between gml and java I would say the hardest part about Java is figuring out how to create a window and actually figuring out how to create maybe a game loop and get all of your stuff created. How to get that initial rendering method, uh, how to use threads, all that stuff. And then all of the game logic within Java can be pretty similar to what you've already used in GameMaker. So if you're coming from GameMaker into Java, I wouldn't be too scared and I think you're going to pick up on it pretty quickly. So that's going to be it for today. Go leave a like, go and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have fun learning. Peace.